the screen visible? Yes, please make it the screen. Yes, uh, it's yeah. fine. You can start. Thank you for your attention. Yes, start. Yeah. <clears throat> so thank you very much. And uh, a very congratulations to the authority and the Turkish channel of mathematics for organizing this international webinar. And uh, it's a great privilege that uh, you given me this chance to present my talk, which is on exploration of pre-open sets in a fuzzy biotopological space by operation research. Myself, Dr. Brigitte Das, and I am uh, from the Institute NIT Warangal from India. Okay, so this is the outline of my today's presentation. Uh, <clears throat> at first, I will be discussing the introduction part uh, of our research work, starting with the method of operation approach. In our study, we apply operation approach to fuzzy biotopological spaces. So I will be discussing the preliminary notions, some of the preliminary notions of uh, fuzzy biotopological spaces. And then I will be discussing uh, the main contributory research works, which are the IGSTAR gamma operation and IGSTAR gamma open set. And then from that, I'll be discussing IGSTAR fuzzy pre open set. And I will be discussing the characterization, some few characterization of those sets. And uh, we have uh, produced some results via minimality and locally finiteness. But uh, in this, uh, presentation, I will be discussing only the uh, results on minimality. In our whole research paper, uh, the results on uh, locally finiteness are also there. And finally, I will be making the concluding remarks and uh, we'll be discussing some of the future scope of our study. So starting with the uh, operation approach, the concept of operation in a topological space was first, first introduced by Kashahara back in 1979. And then throughout the next decade, several researchers has uh, devoted their study in extending or uh, developing results on operation approaches. Like uh, Jankovic in 1983 uh, introduced alpha close graphs uh, via operation approach. And then um, for uh, via operation approach, open sets are introduced and Rehman and uh, uh, Ahmad had introduced the concept of interior closure uh, of those uh, sets uh, via operation approach in a topological spaces. Application theoretical applications are shown by researchers like uh, Wagata, uh, etc. Uh, throughout this days. Okay, then in the first decade of uh, 21st century, various researchers or mathematicians uh, extended these notions of operation approach in uh, exploring different types of open sets. And by different types of open sets, I mean generalized version that means stronger version or weaker version of open sets. Like pre-open sets was studied by Van et al. in 2008. Uh, then semi-open set was studied uh, through operation approach by Krishnan et al. in 2007. And uh, beta open set, B open set, gamma open set, there are various types of open sets were studied by several mathematicians throughout those decades. Okay, so uh, first of all, I will be uh, discussing what is uh, operation approach to a topological space. So suppose we are uh, considering a non-empty set X and uh, taking a, a topology A tau defined on uh, that non-empty set X. And we call the members of the tau are open sets. So these are the usual notations, but through operation approach, another uh, open sets are uh, discussed in a different uh, manner. So first of all, we have to define uh, operation in a topological space. So the domain of a function which will be called an operation. Uh, the domain of that function is the topology itself and the range uh, or codomain of that function is the power set of X. So a mapping, which we call gamma, from topology tau to power set of X is an operation if for any open set V, the image under that function F becomes a superset of that open set. If this condition is satisfied, then that uh, mapping gamma is called an uh, operation on that topology. And uh, via this operation, open set are defined as follows. That uh, uh, we consider a subset A of a topological space X tau, and this set A will be called an open set if for each element of that set, if there exists uh, some tau open set, U such that the image of that open set is a subset of that set A. 
if this condition is satisfied, then the set A will be called an open set. And uh, replacing that open set U by pre-open sets, semi-open sets, uh, researchers have studied uh, various types of sets like a pre-open set, semi-open set in uh, topological structure or uh, in fuzzy version also. So we, uh, go, we have gone through all these uh, research articles available in the literature um, to study the whole things. And we found a similarity in whole studies. And we have found that those collection of pre-open sets or maybe the collection of semi-open sets, big open sets, B open sets, whatever you take, all these collections forms the supratopology therein. Now, what do we mean supratopology? Supratopology means the first condition is that that non uh, empty set phi is becoming a pre-open set via operation approach. Uh, if we consider pre-open set in this purpose, the whole set X is also becomes a pre-open set via operation approach and arbitrary union of uh, pre-open sets via operation approach becomes a pre-open sets. So this uh, collection of pre-open sets via operation approach becomes a supratopology. Also for the semi-open set, beta open set, B open sets, in all the cases, those collections forms a supratopology. Now what I am saying this uh, observation, because in our study, in our research work, we found a different result. That is why I am um, emphasizing on this result. Okay, now moving to forward, the next slide, which is preliminary notions of fuzzy bitopological space. Now, what is a fuzzy bitopological space? Now, by means two, that means we consider a non empty set X and consider two topologies non equal to, they are not equal to each other, tau one or tau two, or we can say tau y or tau z. And together, uh, of uh, those, uh, those topologies with non empty set X. This structure we call a bitopological, fuzzy bitopological space. So, in that fuzzy bitopological space, what are the open sets? So, a fuzzy set lambda will be called a IG star fuzzy open set if it can be expressed as the union of two open sets, lambda one and lambda two. Lambda one is the open set with respect to the topology tau y, and lambda two is the um, open set with respect to the topology tau j. So. If a fuzzy set lambda can be expressed as union of two, uh, one is tau y open set, one, another is tau z open set, then that set will be called IG star fuzzy open set. Now, this is the usual notation for IG star fuzzy open set. Via operation approach, we will be uh, introducing the IG star fuzzy open set in a different manner. And then we will be discussing the interrelationship between those two notions. Okay. Now, for this IG star fuzzy open set, the complement of those fuzzy open set will be called IGSTAR fuzzy closed set. And depending upon those uh, open set and closed set, IGSTAR closer and IGSTAR interior operator is defined as follows. And also, IGSTAR fuzzy pre open set is also defined uh, and uh, by, by the usual approach, like uh, a set, fuzzy set lambda will be called a fuzzy pre open set if it is less or equal to the closer and interior uh, of that set. So these are the uh, preliminary notations of, of fuzzy bitopological spaces, which we have done and uh, already published in an SCA journal uh, called Computational and Applied Mathematics. So these are published journals, okay, published uh, research work. Okay. So based on uh, these preliminary notions, we will be introducing um, I just are gamma open set in a, a fuzzy bitopological space via uh, operation approach. Now, how we define operation? A operation and how we define an operation in a fuzzy bitopological space. So the method is uh, exactly same as uh, Kashara defined in a topological space, uh, but a domain will be changed obviously and codomain is also changing. Now, what is the domain in this case? In case of topology, the domain was the collection of all open sets. That means it is tau, it was tau itself. Now where X tau y tau j means there are two topologies. And uh, in our uh, published research work, open sets are taking from tau one, tau y in uh, union tau j. So these IGSTAR open set are considered here. And we are calling the collection of all IGSTAR fuzzy open set as IGSTAR FOX. So in this case, we are taking the domain of this function is the open set with the collection of all IGSTAR fuzzy open sets. And the codomain uh, of this uh, function is IX, which are the mapping from x to the unit interval zero one. 
so okay so uh, the, the, these are the uh, domain and codomain of that uh, function now when this function will be called an operation on that fuzzy byte topological space so that here uh, we have uh, we did not change anything on the original structure that means an uh, um, a function f will be called um, an eigenstar gamma operation we have uh, uh, given this notation eigenstar gamma so uh, we are calling this function a eigenstar gamma operation if the functional uh, value of any open set is a superset of that set so we have uh, um, uh, taken the original structure as uh, like this okay and then we'll be defining um, eigenstar uh, gamma open sets in a fuzzy bytecode space uh, in the following way like uh, we are uh, taking a fuzzy set delta and it will be called uh, a eigenstar gamma fuzzy open set if we take any fuzzy point from the set and then we can find another eigenstar fuzzy open set mu containing that point and it satisfies the condition that the image of the image set of that fuzzy set fuzzy open set mu is less equal to the original set delta and if this condition is satisfied then delta will be called an eigenstar gamma open set now we know eigenstar gamma open set so the complement of that eigenstar gamma open set will be called eigenstar uh, um, closed set eigenstar gamma fuzzy closed set and based on this uh, uh, in the usual manner interior operator closure operator is defined then uh, how we define eigenstar gamma fuzzy pre open set so this is exactly same as the previous definition of eigenstar gamma open set here just we will be replacing uh, the eigenstar open set mu by an eigenstar fuzzy pre open set you can see in the definition a fuzzy set delta will be called a eigenstar gamma fuzzy pre open set if for all fuzzy point xp from that set delta there exist eigenstar fuzzy pre open set containing that point and such that the condition is same f of mu less equal to delta now here comes uh, the interesting properties of eigenstar uh, gamma fuzzy pre open sets we have found like in the case of uh, topology fuzzy topological spaces that the empty set uh, 0x and the whole set 1x are both eigenstar gamma fuzzy open set the, this is same but in case of union of two that means we are considering finite only union of two eigenstar gamma fuzzy pre open set are not uh, uh, is not a eigenstar gamma fuzzy pre open set in general this is not true uh the example supporting this claim is uh, provided in our original research paper which will be uh, will be submitting uh two three days later so we have found that union of finite union of eigenstar gamma fuzzy open pre open set is not a eigenstar gamma fuzzy pre open set and also in the case of intersection of uh, two eigenstar gamma fuzzy pre open set it is uh, not uh, eigenstar fuzzy pre open set so that means it is neither closed under finite union or Uh, and it is not closed under uh, finite intersection also so we can say that the collection of all eigenstar fuzzy pre open set not forming supra topological space in the same environment so this is the uh, different result we have found and rather it uh, forms a generalized fuzzy topological space we, as we know that uh, if 0x and 1x is there in the collection then it is called uh, it, it forms a generalized fuzzy topological space so we can call that eigenstar gamma fuzzy pre open set does not form supra topological space but it forms um, generalized fuzzy topological space okay now two minutes left professor das yeah two minutes left okay Your okay okay two okay, okay okay i i i will be finishing within two minutes okay and also we have found uh, another interesting result uh, that uh, every eigenstar gamma fuzzy pre open set is a eigenstar fuzzy pre open set but the converse case is not true and supporting example is provided here uh, we have also defined another type of uh, operation which is called a regular eigenstar gamma operation i am not going to details Uh, if someone needs i will be providing the uh, 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 pdf of this presentation now here we see that if an operation is regular then finite intersection of pre open set becomes a uh, pre open set so that was not true in the in the earlier case so in case of regular operation we can say that the collection 
uh, uh, satisfies three conditions. Zero x is there, one x is there, and also finite intersection is also closed. So we can uh, say that the collection of all fuzzy pre-open sets forms a fuzzy infi topology. Three condition is satisfied means it forms fuzzy infi topology. Uh, also, uh, we have provided uh, some uh, results on minimal uh, fuzzy pre-open set and uh, results were established uh, via locally finiteness also. So moving towards the concluding remarks here, I'll be taking only one minute. Uh, here we have extended our own work, which have uh, published from two Scopus journals and uh, one SA journals. Uh, so here we have uh, extended those works by considering operation approach in a different manner and try to find some comparative result. Uh, characterizations were made for pre-open sets by operation approach and the results obtained were, uh, we have seen that these are slightly different and new results were also established. And also theoretical applications were described by using minimality and locally finiteness also. And if I want to say the future scope of the study, I can say that um, via continuity and irresoluteness also, this study can be extended. And also uh, in a fuzzy bitopolar space, uh, operation approach can be ex uh, ex extended by considering, here we have considered free open set, so uh, we can extend it also by uh, considering semi-open set, B-open set, and like other stronger on uh, weaker forms of open sets also. Uh, these are the references we have uh, gone through or to uh, prepare this uh, research. And thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Das. Uh, is